Hi, my name is Dan. Building a schedule in Easy Worship 6 is as easy as ever with the ability to drag and drop items from the resources area to your schedule area. The schedule is a playlist that's comprised of all the items you will use during a service. When you launch Easy Worship, it will open a blank schedule in the top left corner of the screen. We'll start by adding some songs. You can search for songs contextually by typing in a keyword or phrase, like grace for instance, or change the search type to title and type in the title. Once you find the song, you can simply drag and drop it to your schedule. Or if you'd rather, you can select it and click the plus sign next to the search box to add it. You can also select multiple songs using the control or shift keys and add the selected songs to the schedule all at once. Next, we'll add scriptures. From the scriptures tab, you can select the translation you want from the left. In the search box, you can search contextually by typing in a keyword or phrase, we'll use grace again, or change the search type to reference and type in the reference, like John 3.16. You can drag and drop the verse or select multiple verses and drag and drop them into the schedule or use the plus sign next to the search box. Click on the media tab and from the left side of the resources area, you can select videos, images, feeds, DVD, or audio and drag and drop any of these resources to your schedule. You can also change the background for your songs or scriptures from the media tab by dragging and dropping a video, image, or feed on top of the song or scripture in the schedule. Even if you want a different background for each slide, you can expand the item in the schedule and drag and drop different videos, images, or feeds to each slide. From the audio tab, you can attach an audio file to a song or scripture by dragging and dropping it onto the item in the schedule. The Presentations tab is new to Easy Worship 6. Any presentation you've created in Easy Worship, like looping announcements or sermon slides, or any PowerPoint presentations you've added here, can be dragged and dropped into the schedule. Themes are also new in Easy Worship 6. Any theme you have created can be dragged and dropped onto a song or scripture in the schedule. The schedule is very versatile. You can drag and drop items in the order you prefer. When expanding a song or scripture, you can drag and drop your slides in any order you want. As with each window in Easy Worship 6, you can adjust the size of the schedule window and resize the thumbnails from the resize menu in the upper right corner. There's also a settings gear with options available pertaining to the schedule. Right clicking on any item in the schedule will give you a pop out menu with more options as well. You can save the schedule by clicking on the file menu, then save schedule or save schedule as, or click the save button on the toolbar. Then choose your saving location, give it a name, and click Save. When you're ready to run the schedule, you can open it by clicking File, Open, select your schedule, and click Open. Select your first item and click Go Live. You're now ready to build a schedule on your own. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Easy Worship.